Hello everyone, Rabby here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a very special unboxing of something that I have been waiting for for days now because the game actually came out on the 26th. Um, heads up, this video will not be edited in any way because my editing software has been a little bit weird as of late. So we're just going to throw this out there. This is the Balan Wonder World Showtime set. And uh, a friend of mine got hers two days ago. Uh, it technically, it's weird because it shipped out on the 20th. And then DHL held it for six days until the 26th, which is the day that the game dropped. And then it literally got lost in limbo for me until, so from the 26th until the 30th, it was like, it said that it had shipped out from California. And then... It got to, I live in Florida, so it got to Orlando on the 30th, and it literally took them this long to get it to me. So I'm kind of dying. I know some other people have probably already shown what's inside of the Showtime set, but I'm excited. I've been excited about this game ever since it was announced, despite all the people giving it crap. Oh, it's such a cute little tote bag. Let's pull this on out of the plastic. I'm gonna take this to the beach when my friend comes to visit in a month. This can be my beach bag. It's a little thin. Uh, I can actually see through it, but honestly, that's not a bad little tote. I love the logo. It definitely looks like a tote that you don't want to put too much heavy stuff into, because I don't know if I can get the camera to show this, but like... If you look at it, you can you can see like right through it. Yeah, you can see. So definitely not like, hello, that's my finger. Definitely not the best tote in the world. I feel like if I yanked on it, I could probably rip it. But it's probably just meant to hold all the stuff in the Showtime set. So you know what? I'll take it. It's got Balan's face on it. Quote unquote face. And we got bubble wrap, which is always fun. But here are all the goodies. Holy crap, that's a huge pin. That is... It's a thick boy. Now, he is not... I'm hoping he's attached properly because I've had bad luck with pins lately. Um, I got a pin of Serpentius from Has Been Hotel and immediately upon trying to put him in my cork board, his little pin backing broke off. So, here is... He's giant. I have, like, I have very large hands. I don't know. You can't really tell that. Um, but he is about the size of my palm. He is ginormous. Ah, oh, it's really nice. Like, there's like a coating over it too. Like, for some pins, you can feel like the little dips in all the differences of like the enamel colors. This has, it feels like a coating over most of it to make it pretty much almost seamlessly smooth. So we got a pin. We've got the actual game which I'll open up in a second because we want to see the ticket but we have the I found out this is actually a three CD soundtrack so let's pop this open so you guys can see all of the art on each CD because I will have this in my car and I will be jamming out to ballad on the way to work I'm gonna keep the little this is the little sleeve that goes on the outside of the CD I'm probably gonna shove that on the inside of a journal because it's what I do so here's our beautiful case, and disc one has Balan on it, in a really nice kind of like red pink. We've got the actual little booklet in here, which I've seen has lyrics inside. Let me see if I can get it out safely. I think it has lyrics. I could be thinking the other thing. It's got our track lists liner notes hooray oh yeah this is the lyrics they're so cute oh i love the ice fairy she is one of my favorite designs honestly and the clown the clown is my favorite like in general also whoop, hello the invisible man So that's our credits. Let me get that back in there safely. And then, whoop, excuse me. 
There we go. We have on disc two, our two protagonists. And then on disc three, the main character that I care about is Lance. And these are, are beautifully printed onto the CDs. And you've got the back side that shows all of them. And you can kind of see my reflection, minus the camera in my face. <laughs> so that's that. We're gonna scooch all this stuff aside. The last two remaining things are the theater program and the game itself. So I'm gonna open the game first to show you the goodie that's inside for if you all pre-ordered. Everyone's already seen this, but it's still really neat to like actually get to hold it. Ooh, that is like freshly printed plastic smell. <laughs> Come on, buddy, open. There we go. Oh my God, that's really rank. Okay, we've got our initial case. Boink. And before I get into this stuff, oh, it's so tiny. That's smaller than I thought it was gonna be. But I don't really use Square Enix stuff. So like anybody who gets to this code first, go for it. You can have my points. And then we've got play free. Also don't really care about that. Anyone who wants this, go ahead and take this code. Blink. Uh, this will stay in here. We've got the alternate art on the inside, which is some of the same art we've already seen. We've got the game. And one of the things that I cared about the most was the Balin ticket to the Balin Theater, which is signed by Balin on the other side. There we go. It's actually quite Thick. It's like a cardstock paper, which is cool because I was just expecting it was going to be printed on just like some cheap paper. But this is this is really cool, and I'm very excited about this. Honestly, I think it's really cute. I'm gonna put these back in here for now. I'm gonna have to set this up as soon as I get off cam because it's gonna take a good 20 to 30 minutes for the day one patch that they put through to go through on this. And last but not least. We're going to get into something that um, is not what I actually thought it was going to be. So this is the theater program. When I ordered the Showtime set, I was actually really hoping that this was going to be an art book. And uh, it is not. Uh, it's really cute, but it's not what I was hoping for. I was really hoping that like with with this special Showtime set, you were gonna get an art book with all the concept art. I would have killed to have seen like Fallon's original iteration and stuff like that. Okay, that is, it's weird, it says page two. And so like, I thought that maybe there was a page one that I wasn't seeing, but it's not. But it's really pretty. Um, it's got some fun stuff in it. Look at all like, just, you can see all of the glitter on Balan, all the textures, which is really fun. We've got all of our characters here. I guess uh, my, my only issue with the theater program, as much as I absolutely like, I do love the idea of this. It's all art that we've already seen before. Like these are all the posters from inside of the theater, which is kind of cool. And like, I, it's just all stuff that we've seen before. And I really would have liked to have seen, like I said, like concept art of like, you know, what all of these characters might have looked like originally. Oh, Eben. Eben and uh, I always forget how to pronounce his name. Attilio uh, are my two favorite of the, the people that you're helping out. I just love them. She actually reminds me of a character that I have and that's why I've gotten really attached to her. And then I just love Attilio because he's a clown. But yeah, this is really cute. And I do, I do like this. It just kind of feels, it feels a little bit lackluster to tell you the truth when you've paid like as much as I paid for this set. Like I love it. I am still happy to have it. I just was hoping for an art book. But this would be neat to, I don't really know what to do do with it because on one hand I'm like maybe I should get it framed but on the other hand I'm just like but I do kind of want to look through it a couple more times but then 
I don't really know. I don't know what to do with it just yet. I do like that ballon. That's the ballon from, oh, that's a poster we don't get in here, actually. The full poster from the outside of the theater with the Balinese written on it. That I would have liked to have seen. Yeah, it just kind of feels like we're missing stuff. But this is cute. Every moment is an adventure. So yeah, the theater program is cute. It just, it kind of wasn't what I was expecting. So let's get our full lineup here. We've got our tote bag, our theater program. I should get this a little more centered on here. Theater program, of course the game, which is very shiny on the camera. All right, fine Balin, you're too shiny. I can't see you. <laughs> We've got the pin and then we have the soundtrack. So this was sold for $124. I personally had to pay like an extra $20 in shipping. So for me, this was $140, but not taking shipping into consideration. Um, I guesstimated that the CD was going to be about 30. I was correct. It's 35 by itself. The game is 60. So you've got $95 right there. And then I'm assuming that the pin was probably going to be, I already forgot what the official price was because they are going to be selling it. I assumed it would be a minimum of 10. So 105. So for $105 and then you pay $20 extra and you get, you wind up with the tote and the theater program. I, I would still say that the value is worth it. The theater program probably would have been sold for anywhere between $10 and $15 if they had sold it by itself, and I'm pretty sure they would have sold the tote bag for... I would say it's worth 5 but they probably would have sold it for 10 So it does seem like the monetary value does even out pretty good for this. Uh, it's, it's really cool. I'm very excited to play this game in general because, again, this is the guy who created Knights from Nights into Dreams and Sonic. Uh, both of which are very special to me. And then it's just interesting that it's done by Square Enix. Uh, a lot of people were giving this a lot of flack at first because the demo was unfinished, which I don't feel like was fair because the, it was very obvious that it wasn't finished. And people also don't take into consideration that, yeah, while the guy who created this specializes in platformers, Square Enix itself does not and therefore they don't have access to the copyrighted programming that say Sega does. So I kind of expected this to have a couple of bumps and not necessarily be perfect, but I was still very excited for it. And a lot of people were just nonstop talking about how trash this game was gonna be. And now they're all eating their words because now Balan is rated, I believe, seven out of 10 stars. And from my understanding, usually games average on a four out of 10. So. Balan's doing good. It's a lot harder than people thought it was going to be because about halfway through the game, they actually up the difficulty. The thing about this game too is that it is meant for all ages to be able to play. So it might start out a little bit overly easy for some people, but that's specifically because it's helping the kids, the younger kids that are also going to be playing it to like get their bearings basically. And then it kicks into gear. So if you are unsure, I would say give Balan a chance. I, I haven't played... The full version yet. I might make another video later talking about my thoughts on the full version. I'm definitely going to make a video once I finish it. I got to get on that because most of the other people have already gotten this game and they've already finished it. People have finished this in two days because speedrunners be speedrunners. Um, but yeah, so I will get back to you guys on how I feel about the actual gameplay. But for now, I'm happy. I'm excited. And I will see you all in the next mess. <laughs> later, Gators.